Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I clean and organize my small pantry. This is my pantry and I will show you what a disaster I have in here. Look at this mess. This is a complete disaster. Everything is thrown in there. In the summer we use the gazebo kitchen and we cook in there. So right now I have pantry related items into the gazebo, in the garage, in here. Everything is everywhere and I cannot find a thing. I don't know what I have. I'm sure I overbought some items because, because I did not know what I was out of and what not. So this pantry cleaning and organizing is so needed right now. Summer ended, so we need to move cooking into the kitchen of the house. This is a cabinet in the gazebo's kitchen. This is in the garage. And these are the things I already brought in here from the gazebo. You can see here my little helper. She is so curious and have to check everything. I have to show you this secret. I always buy organization items. Sometimes I find items on clearings or discounts or find something I had been looking for so long and never found it. And I store them for future projects around the house. So today I lay out everything to choose the ones I need for the pantry. With all these bins and baskets, I will organize different things around the house. With this too, I thought I could organize my makeup. These ones are for the fridge. And some of them are for the pantry, like this one, like these ones too, where I would like to store all my pasta. They are for the fridge, but you can organize in them anything you need to. I will see what else I could use for today's project. I've been doing a lot of decluttering and organizing projects around my house and I will do more, so stay tuned for all the videos coming up. These containers are for organizing your condiments and spices and I have all kinds of baskets in here. The first step is to organize everything in piles. So I brought everything and I will organize them on the kitchen table, throwing away what is expired. I did other videos regarding organization. If you're interested, I will link at the end my organization playlist. I want to take a minute and thank you all, I really do appreciate you watching and I appreciate your support. I'm I want to show you everything it's here, look at this. This is crazy. I have to organize all these items. The pantry is empty, so now I have to clean it because you can see all the spills and dust. I want to wash the containers that I need to so they can dry while I work on the piles. Here I wanted to show you that a lot of containers I have are from IKEA. 
I want to put all my condiments and spices in a box because they will go in a cabinet in the kitchen because I always use them to cook. While I organize everything in piles, I put away any item that needs to go somewhere else but the pantry. Put all the condiments and spices and tea that I will organize into a kitchen cabinet, probably in another video. Here I have all the pasta, here all the tomato juice and paste, bread, tuna canes, sweet spreads like Nutella, hazelnut, pistachio. Then here I have sweet corn, here I have salt, green peas, beans, mushrooms, pasta sauces, chopped tomatoes, here I have all sour things like pickles, here the bottles, sugar here i have all beans lentil rice bread crumbs here i have all flowers coconut oil here i have some spices that i don't use every day this chili with so many eyes are so spicy <laughs> i bought them in turkey here I have all sorts of coffees and here nuts and baking stuff. Now that I organize them into categories, I have to clean and disinfect them and the pantry. First I will use a vacuum, then a disinfectant spray. I spray and let it sit for a few minutes, then clean thoroughly with a microfiber cloth. Sparkling clean. 
This is not an easy task to do, but when it's done it's so satisfying and it will last for so long if you keep it tidy. I have to fill some containers in the kitchen and this is what I am doing here. Coffee, brown sugar, then I will work on some pantry items. When filling your containers, be sure to empty first. Fill with fresh item, then put back what was already in there. This way you will use first what you had left before. This is what I am doing with this pasta, then you will see me do it with the sugar and flour as well. I don't do this only if I know I am pouring from the same package, like I did before with the coffee and brown sugar. Now it's time to put everything into the pantry. The next step is to organize the pasta into these baskets. This is how I organize the pasta. Penne whole grain, penne normal and gluten free, other kinds of pasta, spaghetti, what I'm currently using, other gluten free pasta. I will put the opened up pack of spaghetti into this glass jar that I washed earlier. I absolutely love how I organized all my pasta. It is my favorite thing I organized of all this pantry organization. Please let me know in the comments below what is your favorite part of this pantry organization. In this little basket I will organize these coffee packages. Did you know that essential oils break down the glue from the labels? Just put a few drops and let it sit for a few minutes, then it will all come off. I will fill up my baking soda jar and my salt container, then I will put back my potatoes, onions and garlic into that bin that I washed.
It's time to organize the baking stuff into these two little bins. I like the way you think and I don't really care about the music on the dance floor. I was excited I found the mulled wine spices mix. I found more baking soda, so I filled that jar. I decided to organize these condiments too, even though they don't go into the pantry. It's quite a lonely world that we're living in Oh baby, you are something special, I'm sure Everything makes total sense when you're next to me Here you can see again the essential oil doing its magic The last container to fill up is the sugar one. Even if I told you I could never let you go, I'm not so sure you believe me. My pantry is done and let me show you the final result. On the first shelf I have all the pasta, the four baskets and in the back that gluten-free pasta and some salt that I won't be needing for a long time, so it's okay if it's hard to reach. On the second shelf I have all jars and cans. On the third shelf I have the two bins with baking stuff and all the containers with flour, sugar, rice, beans, etc. On the last shelf I have my potato and onion bin, all types of coffee, bottles and sweet spreads. In the back I even have some paint for Easter eggs. This is how it looks, I think it looks pretty good, let me know what you think. You can see from the light changing, it's already dark outside, but I wanted to finish this project today and now I'm so happy! I hope this video gave you some motivation and inspiration to clean and organize your pantry or other area in your home that needs to. I hope it was helpful! Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Bye!